Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you some really easy crock pot meals that are five ingredients or less. You can throw them in, they are dump and go. Come back to them later and you're pretty much ready to eat. I'm in my bathroom right now, if you're wondering, because basically I can't get away from my kids at all for peace and quiet, so I had to come in here to film this intro to my video. Um, all of the ingredients and recipes are gonna be in the description box, so you can just click the down bar and then screenshot it or write it down that way. Thank you to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video. I am very excited to be working with them again. I have used them for a long time. Let's get into the video. All right, I'm just gonna be taking some chicken thighs and I'm gonna lay them um, at the bottom of my crock pot. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of chicken broth and I'm gonna pour it on the bottom. Probably like a cup or two. Yeah. Then I'm gonna take a Lipton onion soup mix and I'm gonna pour it on top of the chicken. All right, now I'm gonna take my cream of mushroom and pour it on top of my chicken. Optional, but I like to use Uncle Chris's. You don't have to do this part. It's just an additional seasoning that my family likes. All right, now we're gonna cook it on low. Um, probably for like eight hours. Um, and then we will shred the chicken and then we just have to add rice and then we have chicken and rice done for us tonight. All right, all I'm gonna do is cook two cups of rice with two cups of water in my Instant Pot. Um, this is regular rice, so it's just gonna cook for 12 minutes. If it's brown rice, it needs to cook for 17 minutes. You can cook your rice however you want to, just make sure it's cooked, and then we'll pour it in the crock pot and eat. All right guys, it's early. I'm about to throw together this crock pot meal. I mentioned earlier that I am partnering with ButcherBox for this video. ButcherBox is a company that I support and stand behind because I just agree and love their values that they stand for in their company. You've never heard of ButcherBox before. ButcherBox is a company that packages and ships to you fresh 
meat to your doorstep. It's very convenient and easy and they have many options that you can choose from. You can pick and choose the meat that you would like in your box from month to month and it varies according to what you would like to have delivered to you. This month ButcherBox is having a ground beef for life campaign that I'm sharing with you and any new customer that signs up for ButcherBox this month is going to be entered into the ground beef for life and what that means is that every box that you receive for the remainder of your life you're going to be getting extra ground beef thrown in for free so there is a link down below that you can click to sign up and get your very own box of butcher box meat selected and dropped off at your doorstep all of their meat is super high quality 100 percent grass-fed beef free range and organic chicken crate free pork they also have wild caught seafood. The bacon they also have is very high quality. It's uncured, nitrate free, and sugar free. Getting butcher box to your door is very convenient and easy. If you don't need your box coming to you at a certain time, you can postpone it. You can change the delivery date. It's very convenient and it's flexible. And whenever you choose butcher box, you're also choosing a company that cares about the animals, our planet and the livelihood of farmers around the nation so make sure to take advantage of the link in the description box click it to sign up for ground beef for life you're going to be getting free ground beef in your box which is great their ground beef is one of my favorites it's not fatty at all no grease and it's very high quality so i'm going to go ahead and get started cooking this first meal thank y'all so much for supporting them and for supporting my channel let's get into cooking We say we were good together I would say we had fun But our trails will never run forever Something else is on your mind Like everything that's good All right, now I'm gonna take some garlic powder, probably some onion powder to season this. And then I'm gonna cut the potatoes in half um, so that there's more of them for everybody. Everything's soft. Everything's falling apart easily, so. It's a good sign that we didn't mess anything up. Okay, I'm gonna do some Uncle Chris's. This is the bottom of one, so I'm just using it all. All right, I'm gonna take some chicken thighs. You can take chicken breast if you want.
I'm gonna do cream of chicken. Sprinkle some ranch seasoning. Some Rotel, or this is just the Walmart brand, diced tomatoes with green chilies. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. All right, you can top with like bacon bits um, if you want. You can add onion if you want. You could do garlic, minced garlic if you want. Um, but I'm gonna let this cook all day on low. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna mix in some sour cream. And we're gonna put some tater tots on top and um, cheese and cook it. And then we're gonna have a chicken tater tot casserole. Okay, I just shredded it. I'm gonna add sour cream. This is an eight ounce. All right. Now, I'm gonna turn on. Okay, now I'm literally gonna take this out of my crock pot. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna cook that according to the instructions on the tater tot bag at like 450 for like 30 minutes. Then I'll top it with shredded cheese and then we're ready to eat it. I think a lot of people don't know that or you just forget. You can actually take that ceramic pot and put it in the oven and use it. So we're gonna do that and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, I'm just gonna put some sort of like steak seasoning or something, any type of like barbecue rub or seasoning. Now I'm just gonna do salt and pepper. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little bit of broth. It can be whatever type of broth you want. Just on the bottom. All right, and now I'm just gonna slice up some onion and throw it on top. All right, and now I'm just gonna put some garlic on top and it's gonna cook all day on low. And then we'll shred it later and we'll put barbecue on it. All right, it is cooked enough. 
and now we're gonna shred. Oh yeah, and it's just gonna like fall, fall apart. Hey everyone, this is just a reminder to take advantage of the butcher box deal. Click the link in the description box and sign up and you're gonna get ground beef for life. All right, I shredded it and I've let it sit for just a little bit more. Um, I'm just gonna add some barbecue sauce and then we will put it on our buns and eat with coleslaw and pickles. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope that y'all enjoyed these recipes. They are quick and easy and very affordable for large or small families. Stay tuned for next week's video. I am going to be sharing with you easy meals that you can make with rice. Rice is really cheap and it's a must have in my home. And so I'm gonna share with you some of our family favorites that you can cook at your home too. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye everybody.